What's up guys and welcome to Runner's Magazine Talk number two. This is the second week in a row that we have started this series on Magazine Talks. And so far, as you can see right here, we have made 37 cents with this type of video. Now, before we get into the actual magazine, I wanna to talk to you guys about how my run went yesterday. So basically I had a long run yesterday. It was only a 10 mile long run. It took exactly 65 minutes. So exactly 6.30 pace and it was pretty good. I ran in the Nike Fine at 4%. And those shoes are almost pretty much destroyed. I destroyed them yesterday in the wet snow. I'll probably show you in one of my next videos, but yeah, they're pretty much done for so that is how my run went yesterday this week's runner magazine is new shoes change everything so i'm expecting to see a lot of different running shoes in this as you can see the first page right here it says saucony triumph sevens i've never actually heard of that shoe i don't wear saucony's or anything like that but hopefully i can find some shoes i'm familiar with in this book and up here i saw it says win 92 laps around the living room equals one mile i think that's pretty funny because i actually ran a mile in my house i just did laps i don't know how many laps it was but I wanted to do it for fun and I know a lot of people have been doing quarantine and I saw a guy actually do a marathon in his living room which is pretty insane so yeah so now we're gonna open up the first page and as you can see looks like mountain biking pretty cool the sunset looks really cool and it says Montana so yeah no nothing running yet next page has a bunch of running watches and if you guys watched my last video i asked you guys if you know of any watch that actually has music on it i'm not sure if there is a watch that has music on it that actually plays from the watch but if there is make sure to let me know down in the comments below and on this page it looks like the new brook western 18s something pretty cool the foam looks really really comfortable i've only ran in one pair of brooks and i think they were the brook adrenaline 17s i'm pretty sure and my legs did not really like those shoes so that was my last time ever running in those shoes and then over here it looks like we have a short story of robbie andrews I am familiar with him. He's a very, very fast runner. Says his go-to workout is 16 times 200 meters on hills, which is something I would actually expect because he is such a fast miler. And if you want to be a fast miler, you got to hit the hills. It looks like we have some dog food right here. I like how the ads in this book are just totally random. You never know what you're going to flip to. And on this page, it looks like we have some stuff that I am familiar with. We have some Nike Infinity Runs. I love this shoe. I'm actually wearing them right now. I currently have about 70 miles on my new shoes. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a video after I hit 100 miles. I think my video idea is showing these shoes after every single 100 miles all the way up to a thousand miles i think people would actually find that very interesting and right here on this page we have a fitness bank app and then this is actually des linden which is pretty crazy because the year that she won the boston marathon is when i actually met her i met her at a running conference i have a picture with her up in my room so yeah pretty crazy that i met her the year that she actually won the boston marathon and on this page looks like we have a watch right here it says heart rate training can make you faster and here's how and i actually agree with that i know a lot of people that actually train by heart rate instead of feel for instance if they're going to do like a 20 minute tempo they're not going to have a certain pace that they want to go they're basically just going to have a certain range in heart rate so like 180 to maybe 190 for 20 minutes which is actually pretty tricky because you have to have a good heart rate sensor if you're wearing a watch it's probably not going to be 100 percent accurate so a heart rate band would definitely come in handy in that situation and on this page it looks like we have edward cheserek i haven't heard much from him i did hear he actually won a race a couple weeks ago but nothing more than that and it says hyper fast is that maybe the new shoe that sketchers came out with but yeah i remember watching a workout that mile split put out with him it was basically like a week with edward cheserek and one of the tempos he just went crazy pretty sure he had like a 420 mile in the temple so yeah and on this next page it says you're never too old to be serious about running which is actually pretty funny because today on my run i was actually running and there's an old man in front of me and he had headphones in and he really couldn't hear so when i passed him he totally freaked out and jumped back and i felt so bad but i just kept going i didn't even look i just kept going i felt so awkward and on this page it looks like it has the best shoes of 2020 and i'm probably not familiar with any of these shoes because the only shoes i am familiar with are nike shoes but we're gonna go through these and let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever tried any of these shoes or if any of these shoes are your favorite so it looks like we have some New Balance Fresh Foam. The full name of these are the New Balance Fresh Foam X1080 V10s. So yeah, definitely a pretty long name for these shoes. The next shoe is a Reebok shoe. It is called the Forever Flow Ride Energy 2.0s. So yeah, another long name. Never tried these shoes. I've never tried an actual Reebok shoe. Uh, the only person I know sponsored by Reebok is Justin Knight. Definitely a very fast runner. And it looks like the next shoe right here I am familiar with. They are the Nike Joyride Dual Runs. And I actually posted a poll on my Instagram if people liked this shoe. I was going to get them and the people did not actually like the shoe. So I never ended up getting them. I got a new pair of Nike Infinity Runs, but these were going to be my next shoe. But I got all of the negative reviews, so that never happened. On this next page, it looks like we have a shoe called the Hoka 11-2. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, definitely a good looking shoe. I've always liked the way the Hokas look. I like how they're so big and bulky. But unfortunately, Hokas have never worked for me. And on this next page, we have a pair of Skechers. The full name is the Skechers Go Run Razor 3 Hypers. 
It looked like a very fast shoe, maybe like the Nike 4% of Skechers. Definitely a racing shoe, it looks like. And I only say that because how skinny the shoe is. The shoe is definitely small. They at least have to be a flat if they're not a racing shoe, but I'm guessing they are a racing shoe. But yeah, these shoes are definitely pretty cool looking. I would definitely wear them. They cost 135 bucks, so not too bad, but they are probably in the middle for how much running shoes can cost. And on this next page, they have my favorite shoe ever, the Nike Infinity React Flyknit. And as they say right here, it has a 9mm drop for the men's and an 8 for the women's. And I've read that the women's drop is a lot smaller than the men's drop on a couple different Nike shoes. I don't remember why, but I remember like the 4% the women's drop was smaller than the guys. And on this next page, we have the Nike Zoom X Next Percents. Pretty dope shoe. I've actually owned the Ekadin in these shoes. I got them from Dick's and I actually did a workout with them on the treadmill a couple of times and I returned them. I was actually selling them and I figured I might as well get a couple miles in and see how they feel. And then if I don't like them, I return them. And unfortunately, I didn't like them because the back part kept rubbing up against my heel. But yeah, my girlfriend is obsessed with these shoes and I know a lot of other people are. I know in the last Chicago Marathon, I'm pretty sure like 20 out of the top 25 runners were wearing these shoes. And this is the last page I'm going to talk about because this is the only other shoe that I'm familiar with. They are the Nike Pegasus 35s and I actually have this exact colorway in the room over there. I can see them from right here. Uh, the only thing I really didn't like about these shoes is how thin they were. It made my feet wobble back and forth. So they weren't very sturdy, which actually kind of hurt my legs. But I can definitely see why people really enjoy this shoe. And that is going to end the Runner's Magazine Talk 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the light right here is actually pretty annoying. I'm pretty sure it's in like the middle of the book so i'm definitely gonna have to figure out a new strategy maybe put two lights on the side coming in so you don't actually see the reflection so yeah i really enjoyed talking to you guys about this if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe i have a new workout video coming soon so make sure you stay tuned for that i will see you guys next time stay safe and stay blessed Thank you.